Hey everybody, thanks for joining us out here again today on the VSO Gun Channel. And what we're going to be doing today is taking a look at one of the drills that we like to run out here that is really important, at least to us, for enhancing our personal uh, capabilities as far as accuracy is concerned with our handguns. And that is called the negative target drill. So what we have here is a standard IPSC target. And what we're going to do is go ahead and cut it away. This works with just a regular piece of cardboard too if you want. Uh, but what's nice about these ones is they're already perforated a little bit. So what we're gonna do is there's an A box here that comprises approximately this much space. And our high center chest is denoted by the area um, about above the A here. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and make a lateral cut here. And it doesn't have to be perfect as I just showed, but, and that gives us our heart box. For the head, we have a B and an A box. We're gonna go ahead and cut the A box out of the head here, and we'll see if I can do it without uh, cutting myself. This knife is awful sharp. All right, cool. As you can see, they're not, it's not the greatest uh, artistry around. But uh, so for this, what we're also gonna wanna do is have some decently high quality uh, range ammo. We don't need to be shooting hollow points or any of our zombie kill and stuff or anything like that. But for that, we use the uh, Prime 124s out here because it's, uh, it's a little bit more consistent of a range ammo. Uh, you don't wanna be uh, chasing aberrant rounds uh, caused by inconsistent ammunition. You don't want to be chasing those all over the paper. So the uh, the op the object of this uh, drill is to get the call from the instructor and put rounds through the space. The first thing that the bullet should touch is the dirt behind the behind the uh, target, and no cardboard should be touched. At the end of the drill, it should look like this. No more holes on the paper. So we're going to go ahead and get set up and get going. All right, guys and gals, high speed is going to run our first segment here. This is at three yards. I'm going to give you a call, uh, both heart and brain. And then I'm going to give you a fight. Okay? All right. Three in the heart, two in the brain. Fight! Ah, that's exactly what I wanted to see. So make up your shot. All right, cool. Let's take a closer look here. So what do we got? We have one low. All right, so that's a jaw hit, probably, which means that- He could still fight me. Yeah, he's still combat effective. Congratulations, you're probably dead. Oh, really? All right, we're back here at seven now. I'm gonna do the uh, seven yard. Go ahead. You ready? Yep. All right, three to the heart. Two to the brain. Threat! Stop! All right, guys and gals, up here after the second group. Obviously, I'm hitting just a little bit. I'm not sure if the camera can pick this up or not. A little bit high here on the heart box group. Uh, this is um, on the line, we'll count it. Uh, that's the equivalent of shooting here or shooting here. Pretty much the same thing, on the line's good. Obviously this is the first one from uh, High Speed's first group and nothing coming through on the brain box. Uh, concentration a little bit higher there on the brain box. Maybe a little bit of scarring right here where the bullets are like just basically skipping right through there. We'll call it good. We're gonna go ahead and move back a little bit and see, uh, see if high speed can improve any. Back here at 10 yards. Four in the chest, one in the brain. Fight!
these are these new. are two new ones and this one's a new one yep so i've got two in the box and then i've got none in the box i've got this one here yeah so what we're going to do i'm going to go get a marker so we can mark these because i'm going to move back to 15 for the final shot uh -huh. and uh we want to make sure that uh Oh we yeah, can we identify don't, we, we, which one. We want to absolutely mark these because we know you're going to be like all over the place, right. and we need to make sure that right, we're good. Right, right. All right, this is about the max distance that I suggest you doing this. This is this is the distance where it gets pretty tough. So, uh, 15 meters, high speed. Go ahead and give me three to the heart, one to the brain. Shooter ready? Yep. Cut. Stop. All right, after the 15, I failed. I failed. Yeah, well, yeah. you don't, there's nothing here. Yeah. So obviously you got your three rounds in here. All yeah. Right. There's nothing in here. Oh, I look. Think, I think this one might actually be a pull high from the first group, so. You shot him in the throat, though. <laughs> <laughs> still. Okay, I'll, t I'll take it. But still, guys, this is an excellent drill to use for improving your accuracy with your handgun because this is this really drives home you know when you're seeing the rounds group on a piece of paper that's completely different than having no feedback from what you're doing you are forced to reset and use your fundamentals each time you shoot well that's also that's also good to point out that when people shoot steel shooting steel is perfectly fine but when you shoot something like this and you can't see where you're hitting that forces you to what you're not shooting and looking at your target or seeing where you're shooting you're focusing on your fundamentals. You're focusing on your trigger pull, your sight picture, front sight, front sight, front sight, press the trigger, grip, stance, all that all that stuff. Yeah. This forces you to do that. Absolutely, 100%. Because this is a good drill to, to, to work on the basics, on the fundamentals. So if you want to polish up on that stuff, this is what you want to do. And it puts it into a practical sense as well. Right, yeah. right, right. Absolutely. Thank you for joining us out here today again, High Speed. Good shooting. Let's uh, run the drill a few more times. All right. Stop! Sent went through the through the paper. You know what's really cool is right when you shot, I saw the paper go. Yeah. Which one? Which one went first? This one. No, this one was first. This yeah. one was last. Yeah. All right. Uh, is that still running? Yep. I haven't touched it. just for like a minute or so, just to see if she's gonna lock up. Do the full range of motion. All right, now let's see if it does it with my red shirt. What am I looking for, locking up? Yeah, just make sure we don't lock up. Woo! <laughs> yeah, keep doing that. Yeah, yeah, more action, baby. Oh yeah! Frickin' Charlie's Angels.